Wearing restraints, Joshua Brackenridge looked around as if in disbelief at his arraignment. The 31-year-old man's accused of kidnapping his grandmother and broadcasting it on Facebook Live as he allegedly forced her to drive him from one side of the town to the other. Video evidence shows he was narrating and exchanging text messages with family members, at one point striking his grandmother who had the wheel. I just sat in the car and like, she told me something about my mom or something, stole my social security or something. I'm like, what? In a rambling, disjointed slew of statements to the court, Brackenridge blurted at one point he needed help. The prosecutor saying what's needed is a high bond. Her grandson climbed into her car in Harrison, Ohio, threatened to kill her if she did not drive him where he wanted to go. The judge listened patiently as the accused spoke of needing answers, making a mess of things, having the right intentions, denying he acted violently. How do I abduct someone? That's like, okay, so you got point one, point two. No, I don't care, bro, because like literally, I, I have to say everything. Like, I have to do it right now. The grandmother's odyssey started in this Harrison subdivision on the west side where the two of them live and ended along Salem Road on the east side where police located what was a rolling domestic violence call. Grandma, did I put my hands on you? No. Huh. What do you think about that, dummy? Angered and agitated at arraignment, Breckenridge had to be restrained by deputies as he was let out of court. And his grandmother, through a family member, sent word that she did not want to comment or discuss any of this. We're told she's doing okay. The family would only say it is a sad situation. Live at the Justice Center, John London, WWT News 5.